Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Monster. Hey, just wanted to cut in, uh, let you know what I found. Because it's cool! Shazam! Already picked up the stuff and we got ourselves a Logic Matrix Programmer. So, um, kind of back, ooh, it's a little laggy. Um, let's see, this is used in, what did I want to use this for? Actually, hmm, maybe. A factorization manual. <laughs> oh, I have one of those. Uh, I don't know what I want to use this for. I'll have to mess with it. But anyway, I got one of those. Um, I think the other thing... Oh, I was. I want the other one. That's what I want. I want the division sigil. That's what I was looking for. This guy, meh. But I uh, found some nether wart. So as soon as I get some soul sand, I can start working on that. Plus, once I get to... Um, with the new nether, um, nether wart um, actually spawns... In the different some of the different biomes I also got some uh, safari nets so I can use those to make some jailers it's pretty good and got a bit of iron I'm out looking for iron oh and I also got some melons this is really big here um, this uh, I might be able to do something with the food furnace and uh, maybe maybe work something out with that so we'll see how it goes see what we do all right guys um, I'm gonna continue messing around and I'll be back hey guys we're back so we've got some stuff going on um, like I said we want to get rotary craft going so first thing you're gonna need uh, first thing you really want to get is put these away um, is a book where is the book so I'm gonna need these pieces here this book here so this is the Rotary Craft Handbook. Um, there's the recipe. And when you click on it, very helpful. Lots of information in here on all the stuff you do. Um, this is kind of a table of contents. And then as you navigate through, so if we went down to production machines and you click on, so blast furnace is gonna be what we're making here. Here's the description of it. And then it gives you some details about what's going on. Um, so here, let's see, it doesn't, oh, it says, okay, so 600C to start uh, um, the alloying process. Uh, we're going to use lava. Lava gets that up to the right um, temperature. I believe there's some other, um, there's some other heat production, um, Machines that'll produce some heat. Oh, I guess I need a work table too. Um, but I got to make some some of this HSLA steel ingots. Now the only way to do that is in a blast furnace. So um, to do that. Oh, another thing too is when you have that open, it's like you have the menu open, so everything kind of stops around you. Um, but yeah, so here's our blast furnace. Let us let's see here. Where can I park this? Um, Merry Christmas. We can go. Uh, it's just not like I can't get more water, but I do need a bucket of lava. Um, let's see if I have any more iron. I went mining. Um, let's see. No more iron. Okay. This um, mod uses mostly iron for all its um, recipes. So they use the HSLA iron um, for most of the recipes or some form of it. They make shafts and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, so I kind of set this up similar to my other one from season one, but check that guy right there blast furnace there and that guy's gonna start heating up already 27 um, 
Okay, so I'm going to wait that for that to heat up. I'm going to go ahead and make a work table. And... And we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We've made it up to 625C, and then this part is really easy. All you gotta do is you take some sand, some gunpowder, some coal of any type, and some iron. So as the um, instruction says, gunpowder bottom left, sand in top left, and the middle, nine sauce with iron ingots on, um, let's see, coal at the left. So they're saying coal in the middle, sand top left, gunpowder bottom left. Let me double check that. I have a short memory. <laughs> gunpowder bottom left. Okay. There we go. Oh, all that kind of things. Okay. So then we just put our iron in there. I'm going to keep eight here. This is going to give us 36 iron. It's not too bad. All right, um, we'll come back when these are done cooking up. Oh, see that nine went to fourteen. That's crazy, crazy awesome. So got an extra five out of that one. Twenty-three. Only got nine out of that one. And it didn't use any gunpowder sand so far. 13 out of that one, so I got an extra 4 out of that one. Huh. I guess it alternates. <laughs> okay, cool. So now we've got some, um, some HSLA. So I'm going to get the parts together to make a work table. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back, and so let's make this guy really quick. Okay, so he won't go in there. Oh, we need a... Was it two, or did I just need one? No, I just needed one. Oh, and I also need one of these guys. I don't know if you can actually... No. Okay, so this guy's there. There there oh it should go in oh am I out of redstone is that what it is okay that's why it's not going in okay I'll be right back all right so let's see here there we go it's the work table I don't think you can um, put stuff into so what I'm gonna do is what I want to do for early setup is um, I want to use gas engines. In order to use gas engines, I need ethanol crystals. And in order to make ethanol crystals, you need a fermenter and a few other pieces. So um, I'm going to make those. We're going to make a DC motor. Um, so if you go into, let's see. So I'm going to make uh, one of these to start off with. Uh, I'll end up with two. And then I think I can pump that straight into a fermenter. Are these production machines? This guy here. Um, let's see. Power input from the back. Card speed. Yeah. So a DC motor straight into it. And um, oh, and then I need water. So what I've done is I've made a transfer node, a liquid transfer node. Um, you can use an aqueous accumulator, you can um, use the fluid pipes and whatnot. I'm just going to use a transfer node because um, it's a little easier to make and um, I don't really have the materials to make the other guy. Well, I guess they could have made an aqueous accumulator. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to put some of that stuff together and I will see you in a minute. All right, we're back, and so you can see I put um, stone covers down here with some jack-o'-lanterns underneath to light up. Um, but what's going to happen is when I put the liquid um, transfer node here, 
um, as you can see from here let me put it right here and I'll show you what I'm talking about so if I put that guy there and then I put him on top of it and then I take that away so you can see down there and you can see everything around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, stone strips around it Actually, that's kind of cool. so then let's go ahead and close this back up um, let's see where you're at Now, in order to do that, I'm going to put those guys up there. Now, run for that, and put this last strip there. Now, what I can do is I can place this guy right on top of one of the sides. Now, I'm pointing at this strip, and it puts it right on top. I want to put this in a corner, so I'm just um, going to put the DC motor there, and then I'm going to put the fermenter right there. So now the fermenter is all nice and full. Um, now, if you see up here, um, this is what it, it's actually creating. And you use a redstone signal to change between yeast and um, ethanol crystals. So that's why I recommend two. <clears throat> that way you can use one to make the yeast and then you just redirect it over to the second one that makes ethanol crystals. So, oh, the first thing you make is sludge. No yeast. Okay, you make yeast, this is the yeast, okay, and then the other one is sludge is what it is, that's right. Um, so let me go get some levers and we should be able to kick this thing off. So what we're going to be using is sugar cane and dirt. But I need some levers, so sugar cane goes on the top, dirt goes on the bottom. And this, I wonder what that does. It's kind of cool right now, so I don't know. We'll see in a minute. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. So this, actually, I'm going to turn the sound off because it is super loud when you kick these things on. So there's a DC motor. Um, should be warm in this. Might warm the guy up. Does it need to be warm also? Hmm. So it needs to be warm. I may have to swap this around a bit. Um, give me a minute. I'm a derp. <laughs> it doesn't take sugar cane, it takes sugar. So as you see, it doesn't use up the dirt all the time, but some of the time. So let's put another one there. So then what we'll have to do, I bought, I brought a second one. So depending on the type of material you put in, uh, during the second process will determine how what you how much of each item you get if you put in leaves you get two sludge per yeast um, some of the twilight uh, leaves you you can get six and like some of the time the super rare ones you get like 32 per yeast um, but considering I have a sugar, you can set up a sugar cane farm to get plenty of sugar cane and then um, you can also use sugar cane to as the catalyst down here. 
to create the sludge. Now what you do with the sludge is you cook it. And when you cook it, it turns into ethanol crystals. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this guy. Now it's, it's going to uh, make sludge, which is that icon up there. So we're going to put the yeast in the top and the sugar cane in the bottom so this is the plant material so now this one 14 seconds so there's our sludge so I'm gonna make a furnace real quick a redstone furnace because uh, I'm using a lot of coal and stuff I'd rather put coal in the furnace. It's a little slow, but it's consistent. Okay, so give me a minute. I'm going to make some stuff, and I'll be right back. I lied. <laughs> I don't have enough iron to make a uh, redstone furnace. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and toss this guy in here. We are going to drop that guy in there. And there's your ethanol crystals. Now these can be used in gasoline engines. And a gasoline engine with a control circuit, um, a sing a I know a stack of crystals lasted like a crazy amount of time. But I think a single crystal at really low will last like an hour or so. So um, the control circuits are really nice in, in what they actually do. Uh, but the other thing you can do with the gasoline engines is run extractors. And so that's my main focus that I want to get going. Um, I don't think I need any lubricant. No, I will need lubricant. Oh, that's not going to... Okay. So yeah, so I do need to make a grinder. And I'll need to make a gasoline engine. So let me make those up real quick and we'll get to grinding some canola oil. Alright guys, I'm back. And <clears throat> one of the things I was realizing, so I'm going to set a fermenter here and I plan on setting another fermenter here and I plan on sending stuff from this fermenter over to this one so um, the second one will produce um, the actual sludge. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is, so I'm looking at, um, let's go to production machines, grinder. So a grinder uh, requires 4 megawatts of energy at 128 newtons. Now if we go back to power supplies, a steam engine um, produces 512 at 16 megawatts. Now what I can do is create um, a steam engine to power it and then one, if I supply it with uh, water it'll run endlessly. So I can run a grinder endlessly. Um, so what I want to do is I want to set that like right here. Um, the other thing I want to do is underneath it, so it's going to end up being right there, Underneath it, I want to put a piece of netherrack with a fire on it, obviously. Uh, the other challenge I have is I need to supply it with water. And without making all my pipes all kinds of crazy over here, I thought I would just um, reroute the current pipe structure that I have so that it can accommodate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out here because um, that's going to be another pipe. So I want that pipe there, there, and then there is where the pipe is going to be. So let's go ahead and um, did I put my pipes up. I did. So what we're going to do is I haven't even made the steam engines yet, <laughs> um, but I love it through here and then what we're going to have over here is we're going to oh, have another one there and so it should feed the water underneath 
Now, um, by moving the water out from underneath the fermenter, um, it actually raised the operating temperature of the fermenter. So right now it's at 25C. And at this speed, it takes like two or three seconds to create the sludge as opposed to um, before it was taking like 15 seconds. Um, so yeah, so if you read the little snippets, it talks about um, if it's too high or too low, it might kill the yeast. Um, and then so you want it in a decent operating temperature. So then, so I've got that guy running around. So obviously the problem is I need to go get some netherrack um, to put down there. Um, but first challenge, first things first, I need to get water down here. And you're filling up. Plus one, minus one. Too bad this doesn't go on a round robin like this way, that way, this way, that way. So that should supply both of these with enough power. And then what I can do is, um, let's actually do, actually, I think I've got one upstairs. Let's go upstairs real quick. Um, these are hollow um, covers. Let's see where we got. Uh, one of the challenges, one of the other challenges that I came across is the fact that I am almost completely out of iron. <laughs> so I will need to do some mining. And it might happen to, it might have to happen in, uh, in the middle of cuts in this episode because um, I am, let's see. We'll get back to where my iron is here real sec. I have 16 steel ingots, so I'm not going to get very far. Uh, that guy should go there. I'll put that guy there. And the other thing is, is I can cover this up completely, so I won't need to have that open at all. Even better, right? I wonder if I could put it right underneath here. Oh no, because I need to I need to run some stuff in between, so So what I'm gonna end up doing is um, I need a so this is gonna come off. So I'm gonna use a stamper. And what a stamper will do, there's the recipe there, not very hard. Um, it'll take items and just single single item recipes. I, I believe it's just single item recipes. There might be stamps for other recipes. Um, but it'll. I'm going to use that to convert the sugar cane into sugar to put into here for to make the yeast. And then the yeast is going to be outputted to um, the other uh, fermenter. And then I'm going to have a basically a barrel of sugar cane up here that's going to feed in to both the, um, the stamper as well as um, this fermenter over here. So I'm going to use that to feed the bottom of that. Um, and then just output it into, find a way to put it in a furnace or whatnot. But yeah, it should be cool. So I'll need another DC engine, need another fermenter. Then I'm going to want to get a, um, a steam engine and a told you I'm getting old. <laughs> um, a grinder to grind up the canola oil so cool all right guys uh give me a few minutes to well for you to be a split second but for me it'll probably be a couple hours i need to go out and do some mining all right be back in a bit let's look at what i found out and about i found a spawner back there uh, a little bit and what i found in it builder's wand woohoo 
Got a bunch of other stuff so far. Iron gravel. Oh, that's copper. Okay. Uh, let's see. The big things. Builder's wand. Found some nether quartz. I can make a um, a solar generator now. Um, found some obsidian, so I don't have to use uh, some of the lava I was using. Found some glowstone. Uh, I can use that for um, a potion crystal of some sort. Maybe uh, fire resist might be the first one I do. Uh, also found some ender lily seeds, so we're we're cracking, we're cracking, lacking. <laughs> um, so fire resist would be the preferable first. Oh gosh. Okay, so those guys ain't too bad. <laughs> Scary, but not too bad. Okay. So what I'm going to want to do is I want to put these guys there. Uh... Alright, so give me a minute while we get rid of the nighttime, the on setting, setting sun, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Ooh. ooh. Um, problem. Something I just realized. How do I get back up? Hmm. Well, let's see here. Let's get rid of knowledge fragments. I probably won't use those anytime soon. Let's get some sandstone. Because all these are going to be like four or five different types, so... So let's get rid of that guy. Put a torch up because I like to see. Uh, we got a steel sword. A lake biome. Um, let's see. What do we get rid of? Let us do one, two, three, four. We'll do those guys. whatever there <laughs> okay so that's leather once I get a furnace going um, we've got bones what do we have in this one more knowledge fragments a steel leggings and a steel sword not bad we've got one of those shiny ingots that's a must um, hmm. Strength, I don't need that. And some more steel boots. Miniature black hole. Oh, well, that's two. And that's it. I wish these safari nets stacked. Um, ooh, static boots. Funny. I think if I stick, yeah. Iron, I can stick in a smeltery and get iron back out of it. Steel, I actually have to use a blast furnace. So, and there's TNT down there. Do I really want the TNT? Not really. I'm not that interested in it. Okay, so double check. I can do without the bones. I would like the steel sword, but I don't have the room unless I do that. Actually, I like the steel pants better. Safari net, steel boots. Oh, appetite. There we go. Let me take it. Well, well, these things aren't that bad to make. You just need a slime ball and a piece of leather. So, I don't think that's too bad. Uh, steel boots, on the other hand, those are pretty nice. Oh, 
Alright, so I think I'll do that. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, just a quick point to note. Um, so before you start making a bunch of stuff, I made a bunch of clear glass. But apparently the work table for Rotary Craft doesn't use the clear glass or basically the or dictionary to fill this. So you need normal glass. I'm sure you figure that out quick, but just a heads up. So you don't go making a bunch of glass and go, oh man, I got to find some more sand. <laughs> okay, guys, back in a bit. All right, guys, we are back after <laughs> a long process of making a bunch of stuff. Um, I think we're good and figuring stuff out. So what we've got going on, all right, well, I'm hoping that won't catch on fire. We'll see, I guess. Um, so we're making a steam engine. We got a steam engine going and we need to heat that steam engine. So uh, what I've done is I got some nether rack and then we're going to go ahead and light the nether rack and hope it doesn't burn out the canola seeds. Um, we're going to put a um, the steam engine on top. So it should, it's connected in the back. Okay, there we go. Now it's full of water. And now um, as soon as it gets hot enough, um, it should be producing steam. Now it'll get as hot as 135, I think is where it stops. Um, so, and then I've got the, um, the fluid, the liquid transfer um, down here and you can watch that try to find its spot um, let's see here let's cover that back up what do I got going on here okay cover that back up this is feeding in the back of there it doesn't look like it that's starting on fire so I think we're good I think it just goes up um, that's also one of the reasons why we're down here because I have a wood house <laughs> and that sucker would burn to the ground okay so the next thing I want to put a clutch here now what this is going to do is it's going to stop the energy from transferring from the um, the steam engine to the rest of the mechanism um, now see it's starting to go and you see there's no activity going on so what we're gonna do is we're going to add a block on top and where do I want to put that I'm just gonna toss it in the front here there you go now you see the energy transferring so the next thing we're gonna add is a shaft junction now I want the junction to go um, I've got one input and then I want to send one output this way and one output towards me now the next thing I want to add, um, let's see, let's make this set to one to one. Um, the next thing I'm going to add is an eight to one gearbox, stone gearbox. Now, if we did this right, so we've got eight torque. Um, now it's not, as you can see, it's not taking any damage. So it's, I can essentially run this indefinitely. And that's kind of one of what I wanted to get out of this configuration. Um, the other, so then um, we can put a grinder on the end. See, now the grinder's going and it takes about 27 seconds to do its things. Um, now, what, as you can see, I've got a fan over here, what, which I want to add. So let's go here. Um, let's see, we're going east, north, and east. So north, south. East, no, west, west, east. I forgot how I sorted those out, but I don't have an ender pearl to do an angular um, analyzer. I forget what it's called, um, but yeah. So, and then we want a, oh, not there. We want this guy there. Oh, I guess we want it the other way. And then this thing's crazy. So what this does is it um, pushes and replants the seeds. Now at 512, I hope that's not going to break. At 512, this will replant the seeds and it should be getting... Um, 
essentially the amount of power it needs. So that one collection, that was a stack's worth of seeds. Now I gotta get back. That was stupid. <laughs> um, so the other thing I need to do is... Oh, I can totally turn it off. Jink. There we go. Um, uh, the, the other thing I need to do is I need to get... Um, the seeds routed all the way over here. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come up from underneath into the side. Because the only way to get the um, lubricant out using a liquid um, using a liquid transfer node is through the bottom. And that's pretty cheap so I kind of want to do that. And then, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a hopper at the end um, because I don't have the ender pearl to make a vacuum hopper. So I'm just going to put a hopper at the end to collect it and then use the transfer pipes to bring it all the way over here. So let me um, get that stuff together and then we'll do that real quick. We're back. And um, just a minor note, don't stand on the grinder. <laughs> I did it again. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to want to do is, let's see. Let copper. Let's grab this copper. Aluminum. Okay, so let's see. Let's dump these. So we want to go down to um hmm okay so we're going to be running it along let's see so i want it going down so what it's going to do is it's going to push into this cubby hole here and then I want this guy here to pull out of there it's an item transfer node and then um, we're going to want uh, transfer pipes going that way only problem is <laughs> I didn't dig a hole to figure out where I was going to be Okay, so let's see, let's dig that guy up. Can I? Um, all right, so let's go over here. So I want this to come up right here. And I want it to be, hmm. Because what's going to happen is it's going to have to come there. So I'm going to have to be at level 61. So the upper level needs to be at 61 then. So let's go over here. Let me grab some more stone just to make sure I have enough. I guess it wouldn't matter if I use these other... Well, I want to keep that marble. Uh, let's see. So, hmm. So what we're doing? We need to run that across there. Okay. So sixty-two, sixty-one. So we're gonna have to run it here. And we're going to actually have to dig down here because we don't want to kill the, the fire. So let's go ahead and fill this back up. Okay, so we're on the level here. So we're at 60, so 61 is going to be right here. I 
I have no. <laughs> Can you guys see? Here. Um, let's do this. Brightness, we'll turn it up. There. At least you guys can see. That's all that matters, right? So one of these should be... These guys make up their mind. There. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these guys here. Hopefully I can, oh, let's see, there we go, okay, so then, see so I need a cover, did I bring a cover down, oh, it's not where, uh oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> I am one short, are you kidding me? That is too funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me make some more of those and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back and we're just about out of time. So let's finish this bad boy up. So we got a transfer node with liquids. And now you can see we got lubricant in there. It's going to keep pulling that out so we'll have tons of lubricant. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a transfer pipe there. Then I'm going to add a cover, hollow cover there. And then I'm going to add extra utilities, drum. Shazam. So I think it goes, I think it'll go down here. Yeah, it should go down there first. Oh. Well done here. Okay. So that should be it. So we are good to go. Don't have to worry about it. Shouldn't have to worry about it again. Uh, ever. <laughs> <clears throat> so here we go. We've got a... Oh, dang it. <laughs> I keep stepping on that thing. So we've got a way to create um, ethanol crystals. Or the sludge. And um, as I showed you, they'll, they'll make, if you cook it, they turn into ethanol crystals. We can use the ethanol crystals, did I actually say ethanol? Yeah. Ethanol crystals in the gas engine. So we'll be doing that. Um, we want to get the extractor up and running, and in, uh, we'll use gas engines for the extractors. And um, that's where that's going to come into play. And we'll use this lubricant um, on them as well. Now, what I've got here... Um, I might even route, just route the lubricant straight over to um, the other mechanisms. But the key, the two things that you want to power your all your rotary craft stuff is um, you need lubricant in many cases. Um, this configuration just happens to be one that doesn't um, need any lubricant for its configuration and obviously these DC engines directly into the fermenters don't have a problem either. Um, the other thing we're going to end up setting up is a way to automate this so all you do is you turn it on and that will turn on both of these um, uh, fermenters. We'll have one fermenter that creates um, the yeast and another fermenter that creates the um, the sludge 
That way uh, you can have a continuous supply and not have to do any changes and whatnot. And then we'll have gas engines that's going to run our extractors. And with the extractors we can put in all our ores that can up to five times, up to five items per ore is what we, we have an opportunity to get. Uh, there's four stages at each stage you have a 50% chance of doubling. So it's a really good um, way of increasing your ore capacity. And it's a really neat mod actually. And it's kind of, it's kind of pretty if you look at all the, the stuff going around. You got all the gears mechanism so even on the gears so this is an 8x gear so they've got uh, eight gears in here that are spinning around one two three four um five six seven where's number eight at right there maybe one two three four five yeah so it's pretty neat how they have this all configured up and this guy here looks like a paper shredder <laughs> if you've ever seen some of them paper shredders they look pretty nasty but um, cool, cool. So we got a lot of rotary craft up and running. Uh, I didn't want to bore you too much because I know we've gone over some of this. Um, this configuration is kind of new, uh, in, in that that I just came up with it. Um, I like, you know, I like set it, forget it configuration. So this configuration here, I can set it and let it go forever and not have to worry about it. Um, this guy will keep producing. One of the things that I'm going to do is, um, so the problem with the grinder is um, whenever there's in the littlest amount of space, it'll grind out a canola seed. So if there's five millibuckets in there, it'll start grinding a canola seed. But it'll only put in five millibuckets. So uh, one of the things I want to get is a gate that says um, if you're out of lubricant and you have canola seeds, turn on and grind out some lubricant otherwise uh, don't do anything and that's kinda where I want to keep that um, the other thing I want to do is with this fan is based on the how how many canola seeds we have I want to turn the fan off so those are two things I want to work on and um, I definitely want to get the next thing we're going to work on is the extractor though because we definitely want to get our ores up to snuff because I've got some diamonds sitting up there um, that some diamonds and some lapis I want to get the lapis going for the fortune and stuff but let's see here so we've got diamond up here we've got redstone um, and lapis uh, the redstone I am gonna run through the pulverizer because we need shiny metal for the um, Shiny ingots for tesseracts, and we can't afford to pass up the opportunity to get shiny metal. So, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, let me know that I'm doing good. Um, if you got any comments or ideas, obviously leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, you got any questions or things that you'd like to see? Um, if you're enjoying this series, please subscribe. You know, guys, I hope you're enjoying it and having a good time, and take care and have a good one. Alright, so we got our pipes and we've got our cover. So let's go ahead and stick our pipe there. So that's only at 42. Um, let's see here. So that should send those guys over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these guys. We are going to let's close that up. Close that up. Okay, so we should be able to throw those guys. Those guys. Wow. Those guys went. And oh, you know what? in there and then they're in here and then you know what else I <laughs> have a hard time getting back okay okay so they made it over here cool 
Sweet. Okay, so the other thing I need to do is... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I need a dude... Actually, I need one on that side. So I'm going to make another one, and then I'm going to make a barrel. Let me get that stuff, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Be right back.